In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus H2SO4. This is barium hydroxide, and this is sulfurous acid. So we have a base and an acid. This is a neutralization reaction. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. It looks like if I put a 2 in front of the H2O, I have four hydrogens here. I have 2 times 1, so 2 plus 2 is 4 hydrogens oxygens would be balanced. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we can write the state for each substance. Barium hydroxide, that's considered a strong base. That's going to be aqueous and dissociate into its ions when it's put in water. Sulfurous acid, that will also dissolve in water, but it's a weak electrolyte. It's a weak acid, so it won't dissociate. We'll come back to that later. Sulfites in general are soluble, but barium sulfite, as well as barium sulfate, BASO4, they're insoluble. So these two will react and we'll end up getting this solid here. So that'll sink to the bottom of the test tube. That'll be a precipitate. So we have this precipitate formed from this reaction. Then water, that's a liquid. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. And we're only going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Barium hydroxide, we said it's a strong base. That's a strong electrolyte. So barium on the periodic table has a 2 plus ionic charge, group 2. And the whole hydroxide is 1 minus. That's a good one to remember. So we have the barium ion, Ba2 plus. I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. And then we have two of these hydroxide ions, 2 OH minus. We said that this will dissolve in water, but it's a weak acid. It's a weak electrolyte. We don't split apart weak electrolytes. This is just one you have to memorize. So we'll keep this together as H2SO3. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. We also don't split apart solids in a net ionic equation. So the precipitate here, we won't split that apart either. It's at the bottom of the test tube. So BASO3. And we don't split liquids apart like water. So just 2H2O. So this is what we call the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So they would be the same thing on both sides. Here are our reactants and our products. Everything is unique. So this complete ionic equation, it's just the same thing as the net ionic equation. So this is the complete and net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus H2SO3. Let me clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our complete and net ionic equation. So this is our complete and our net ionic equation with the states written in. You'll notice that the charge balances out. We have 2 plus here, 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. So the charge on the reactant side all adds up to 0. These are all neutral for the product. That adds up to 0. Charge is conserved. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for barium hydroxide plus sulfurous acid. Thanks for watching.